Well, God bless you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the worship room. I am so glad that you are here tonight. If you can see it, hear me okay, kindly give me a number one. I am so excited about what God is going to do tonight in the worship room. There is one thing, Angie, that the Lord told me before I started, that tonight would be special. All right, and so be so kind, whether you're in fa on Facebook, whether you're on YouTube, and whether you're on our worship portal, let us know where you're coming from. Welcome, welcome, welcome. God bless you, and welcome to our Thursday night worship experience. My name is Marcus, and I am so excited to be the facilitator. I always feel like I am the facilitator of whatever it is that God wants to do when we gather as his children, as his people, and especially as the ecclesia. So God bless you. I want to greet a few of you. Um, please let me know what state you represent. Go ahead and let me know where you're coming in from. I feel like tonight is going to be um, very, 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 very special. I've been in worship here, and so I am prepared um, for you, and I'm prepared for whatever it is that God wants to do. So bless you from Georgia. Bless you from Texas. I know Maryland is in here. Bless you all. Be so kind. Um, those of you who are in the portal, I see you as well. Bless you, Texas. Love you. Bless you on Facebook. Bless you wherever you all are coming from in the world. Do me a favor. If you have not already, I want you to go ahead and share this broadcast out. I promise you that tonight is going to be a special time of impartation. Do me a favor. Bless you from South Carolina. Go ahead in the chat box and write about two or three people that you know need to experience the presence of the Lord. All right. And so bless you from Louisiana. Bless you from Florida. All right. Bless you. I just want to make sure that if you see me looking away, I'm just looking at the portal here. It's the only one that comes up on a separate device. All right. Bless you all. Bless you. Bless you. I see my cousins coming in here. Bless you all. I honor you. Thank you all so much for coming in here. Um, again, this is our Thursday night worship experience. I want you, if you are in great expectation for the presence of God to come in this atmosphere, I simply want you to put flames of fire. I simply, I know I ask you all probably do that three times a week, um, but there is a method to my madness, all right? And so just go ahead and throw those flames of fire on the screen. And some of you, please go ahead and write a few people's name, especially if you're on the public figure um, page. Just write a few people's name in the chat box um, so they, they can get in on this. Sometimes, sometimes something can be so good that we just get it for ourselves and we don't share it with others. But I need all of you to go to our public figure page and just share that out and invite people to the worship room, all right? And so I heard a prophetic word as I was preparing tonight, um, and, 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 and I, made, I made a declaration that I will only release prophetic words to people who are hungry. If you are hungry for the Lord to speak to you, I simply want you to say two words, speak God. I want you to say those two words, speak God. I want you to say those two words. I just simply want you to say, speak God. Woo! I want you to say that, speak God. I refuse to give a prophetic word to a people who feel like they know enough. <laughs> to a people who feel like God talks to them so much that they don't need anything extra. I just simply want you to say those two words, speak God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God, we bless you. We honor you. We thank you for being our God. Come on. I want us to begin to charge this atmosphere up right here. I feel something special just creeping in the room. Father, we thank you. Yahweh, you are amazing. Come on. You are our God. Come on. You are our Savior. Come on. Where are my worshipers at, first of all? Where are my YouTube? Where are my worshipers? Come on. Come on. Come on. Facebook. Where are my worshipers? Come on. I see you in the portal. I see y'all in the portal making some noise. He's in this atmosphere. Woo. Hallelujah. Ah, yeah, yeah. This is what I heard the Lord say. I heard the Lord say this right here. The Lord said, I am getting ready to release unannounced favor into your life. Someone say that. Unannounced favor. Woo. The kind of favor you didn't ask for. <laughs> the kind of favor you didn't even know to pray for. This kind of favor, Prophet George, is the kind of favor <laughs> that when it hits your life, here it is, Prophet is Denisha, everything changes. Woo. Come on, where are my worshipers at? Come on here, where are my worshipers at? The kind of, I heard him, I wrote it down. I wrote it down when he told me this. He said, tell them tonight, ah, yeah, as they are in my presence, 
that I am sending, hallelujah, unannounced favor, favor you can't wrap your mind around, favor you didn't ask for, unexpected favor. How, anyone need favor tonight? Hallelujah. I hear you, Janice. I feel you, Janice. Come on, I see you, Diamond. I see you, Patrice. Come on here. Woo! Come on. Unannounced favor. So, God, we thank you for this time. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for what you're getting ready to do tonight. We thank you that you are already in this atmosphere. Somebody just say the worship roll. Hi, yeah, yeah. Come on. I feel his presence right through here. Woo! I feel his presence right through here. Someone simply say the worship roll. And Pastor Erica, as I was preparing, hi, yeah. My message tonight, my notes. You know what I heard the Lord say? He said, tell them tonight that I missed their worship. Woo! Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wept. Uh, woo! Ah, uh, Prophetess Alicia. Ah, uh, yeah. I heard the Lord tell me to tell you all tonight. He says, for I missed their worship. Woo! I miss them laying in my presence for hours at a time. He says, now <laughs> they have other things to do. <laughs> God, we come back <laughs> to a place of worship. And he says, son, how dare you let platforms that might or might not block you stop doing the worship room in the traditional way. Somebody say the worship room is back. <laughs> and, and, and here it is. Here's what it means on my side as a broadcaster. Even if they only let us put the broadcast through while it's live and they block the replay, somebody say it's still worth it. Woo! I can't let Periscope going away change the whole pattern and routine of when the worship room is open. Ah, yeah, yeah. Somebody say it's worth it. Woo, come on. So sometimes you have to be here. Ah, yeah, come on here. When the broadcast is live, because we got to open up the worship room like we used to. God says, son, tell them. Woo! And, and, and I dare whoever this is for to say, God, I hear you. Come on, God, I hear you. Come on. He dealt with you about that too. Good God. Huh. He said, tell them, for I miss their worship. Woo. Ah, yeah. Somebody, I, I, I dare somebody that's humble to say this. Hey, God, I'm back. Hey, ah, yeah. God, I'm back. <laughs> God, I'm back. Hey, I'm back, God. And the thing I love about the mercy and grace of God, he allows you to step right back into a place woo, of righteousness, Ooh. Joyce. Prophet is Joyce. <laughs> Sometimes when we make mistakes and we wander away, he don't ask no questions. He's not like us. Woo! Come on. Somebody that, 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 that left the place of worship or someone who wants to go deeper into worship, simply say, God, I am back. Woo! I'm back, God. Worship is when man, through his spirit, attains a friendship and an intimacy with God. Yeah. Somebody say, God, I want to be closer. Come on, come on. Tonight is for the worship lovers. Woo. This is not for entertainment tonight. This is a personal moment. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Intimacy with God. God, bring us closer. Woo, come on. Bring us closer. Hey, Cousin Shirley, I see you. Prophetess Patrice, I see you. Hey, if you're in the portal, I want you to let me know that you're there. There is a miracle coming in three places, Facebook, YouTube, and the portal. You can expect unannounced favor to come your way. The beautiful thing about worship woo, is when you worship, you don't have to even be able to articulate what it is you need from God. When you are in his presence, woo, he meets your need. <laughs> I, 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 I went to pray earlier today, Pastor Erica. And God says, son, I just want you to worship. Sometimes we come before the Lord getting ready to decree, declare, ask him for this, petition him for that. When I went to pray today, God says, son, I just want you to worship me. And I said, okay, God, I bow. Woo! I bow. I bow. Tonight, I want you to bow. I have two pages of notes. <laughs> but I hear the Father saying, that we owe him about. We, we owe him about. Are. What do you do when you are in the middle of a situation? Yeah. We what do you do? Ha ya ya. When you were in the middle of a transaction. Ha ya. What do you Just do like when you were in the middle of a place that you've never been before? <laughs> you bow. Yeah. 
<laughs> and I hear the Lord saying that I am getting ready to release, come on here, new strength and new strategy woo, for a new bow. For we owe the Father a new bow, Prophet is Tanisha. For it is in the place of a bow he meets every one of our needs. I know it don't make sense. <laughs> I know it don't make sense for you to worship right now. You got a situation that you think you should bow to other than God. When you bow to God, come on here, your situation bows in the earth. Come on here. And so worship is when man, worship is when woman, through the spirit of God, here it is, obtain friendship and intimacy with God. God, we bless your name. And so I have to give you this scripture to really give you context where we are. Someone say, I'm in the middle. And we're talking about our calendar. We understand that if we're going according to the Hebraic calendar, this is the beginning of a new month. And I want to say in the Hebraic calendar, this is the fourth month. But in our, in our calendar, here it is. I want you to understand. Here in the U.S., we are in the middle of our calendar. We are in the middle of the year. We are midway there. And when you get to the middle, just like the children of Israel, I want you to see this. Woo. I, 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 I wanted to save this prophetess Alicia for Sunday, but I believe God showed it to me tonight to show it to you to tonight. Here it is. Exodus chapter 14, verse 16. I'm already in my preaching time. This is the amplified version. And as for you, Lift up your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it Woo. <laughs> so that the sons of Israel may go through the middle of the sea on dry land. And here's why when you are reading the scripture, you cannot read too fast. Watch this diamond. God brought my attention back to this place. He says, as for you, lift up your rod. Now we know what the stretching of the rod was symbolic of in, in, in terms of the context of it, but you know what God told me as I was reading this? He said, when you lift up your rod, this is the lifting up of your hands, this is the lifting up of your arms, this is the place where you are surrendering in a new way. What if that stretch right there, <laughs> what if that stretch, here it is, as, as for you, as you worship and stretch out your hand, come on here, for wherever it is you are, in the sea, in your situations, in your circumstances, your worship will divide, here it is, the land from the water. <laughs> Can I tell you that it is going to be your worship? Come on here. Just like the children of Israel, when they were at the Red Sea, it was a stretching of the rod. I prophesy tonight that as you worship, come on, your worship will be the thing that separates, come on here, your circumstance. Come on here tonight, Zion. Woo. It will be your worship. Come on here. The lifting of your hands and, and the lifting and the prostrateness of your heart will be the thing just like the children of Israel. Someone say the children of Israel. I believe there was a posture of worship that the children of Israel had in the middle that helped them to have the faith woo, for the middle. <laughs> there is a faith woo, that God places upon you when you are in the middle of a situation. The middle. Watch this, Pastor Trina. Here it is. When we look up the word worship in Hebrew, it is pronounced a uh, 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 shock ha is shock ha and it's s h a c h a h. I want y'all to write that. It's s h a c h a h. I, I want you to understand this. And the meaning of this in Hebrew, the meaning of the word worship in Hebrew is to be prostrate, prostrate before the Lord, to give Him homage, or to worship Him. I want you to understand this. We need faith for the middle. <laughs> and here's what I understand, Prophetess Joyce. The faith that I had in the beginning of a situation may not be enough when I get to the middle. And so just like God did Sarah, he gave her strength for new levels of faith to come out of her barren season. I want you to spell this. It's S-H-A-C-H-A-H. And this means to be prostrate in homage or in worship to God. Can I ask you a question? When is the last time you laid on your face? Come on, come on worshipers. 
when is the last time you said forget the situation, forget the circumstance. I am, in other words, I am surrendering all of it to God. Watch this. Let's go to Psalms 95 and 6. I feel a worship in this atmosphere. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Come on. Yeah, S-H-A-C-H-A-H. -H -A -H, all right? Psalms 95 and 6. Listen at this. Oh, come. Let us worship and bow down. Here it is. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. I said something Sunday. And I went back, Prophet Joy said this morning, I know that's right, I love it, watch this. I went back and listened to the teaching from this past Sunday. And I listened to something that God said through me. And he said, repeat it tonight. He says, tell them that I am getting ready to upgrade their worship life. Woo! Somebody say my worship life is getting ready to upgrade. A worship upgrade. I'm taking my worship to a new place. Woo! I'm taking my worship to a new place, a, a new surrender. Come on here. So 95 is, uh, Psalms 95 and 6. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. Watch this. Worship is an active response to the character, the words, and the actions of God. Initiate it by his revelation and enabled by his redemption. Can I tell you that there are new revelations of who he is that he will give to you that give you the strength, the motivation and the inspiration to bow and to serve him and to love him in a new way. He ought to not have to give you a material thing for you to worship him. He ought not have to give you a raise on your job for you to worship him. He ought not have to give you a materialistic thing for you to bow. Somebody say because of a revelation. There are revelations of God. There are revelations of himself. The revelation of his redemption woo, should be enough. Hallelujah. Just a memory. <laughs> Just a memory of how good he is. Come on. Just a memory, a thought of what he did on Calvary's cross for us should be enough. Come on here. Oh, my day, Whereby then our mind is transformed. And our minds in this season, somebody say in this season, are about to be transformed because of his presence. And, and you know, one of the things that, that, that I was studying when I looked at worship, and, and this, is, this is not as positive, but it's the truth anyway. Watch this, Prophetess Tanisha. Most people worship enough to give their life to Christ. But most of us don't reach a place in worship that is transformative enough for us and our lives to change. Woo! That means you worship him, you're getting by, you have just enough. Do you know there's a place in worship if you allow the presence of God to transform your character, woo, to transform your nature, to transform your thought process, to, th to transform, come on here, how you live life, you will not just worship him enough to be saved but you will worship him enough to allow the Holy Spirit to transform everything about your life. For it is in his presence, he transforms everything. I, 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 I'm gonna build up to a moment here, but I want you to understand, we cannot surrender enough just so that we don't go to hell, in other words. Let, let me make it very clear here, Janice. So sometimes we, we change and we surrender enough so that we don't go to hell. But there is a surrender that I believe is being released tonight through his presence being in the room that I will surrender enough to God where he changes everything. Someone say his presence changes everything. Let's place a worship right here. His presence changes everything. You need him to change it? Put a worship on it. That's what it means. Some of you all that are new, you hear me say that now, but what it really means is no matter what circumstance you're in, no matter what you are in the middle of, no matter what you are in the end of, and no matter what you are in the beginning of, when you put a worship on that situation, woo, yeah, 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 yeah. His presence changes everything. You won't find another broadcast like this. <laughs> this is the part of preachers' life they keep kind of private, but God told me you are a public display of what personal devotion should look like for people in their private time. I'm a public display of worship. 
This entire ministry is birthed from a place of worship. Somebody say Abba. Woo! Come on, let's put a worship right here. Woo! I belong to, I belong to you. Can you be a public your, display? <laughs> Can you be a supernatural public display? Hey, hey. Oh, man, this side. Come on. Oh, Abba, Abba, Abba. Woo! Come on here. I belong to you. I belong to you. Come on, where are my worshipers at? I see your property is familiar. Come on. Where are my worshipers at? Come on, can he make you a public example? Hey, hey. Woo! Come on. My heart is yours, oh, Abba. <laughs> I feel it here now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Welcome to the worship room. Come on. Let's put some worship right through here. Woo! Somebody say, favor is coming to me now. Woo! Ah, somebody say, favor is coming to me. Hey, you are Abba. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Oh, my energy, my, my, my thought. I'm yours. Where are my worshipers? Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm yours, I'm yours. Favor is coming while you worship. Woo! Healing is coming while you worship. Come on, I see you in the portal. Healing is coming while you worship. <laughs> hey, come on, Natasha, I see you. Hey, I'm yours. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Woo, Monday, Casa. God, we thank you. Somebody say, God, I love you. Somebody say, God, I love you. Hey, come on. This is for the worshipers tonight. It's all about his presence. Hey, oh, yeah, yeah. You have my heart, yeah. Hey. Hey, you have my body. You have my mind. Hey. You know what the Lord told me? He said, one of the things that hinder us from worshiping is a spirit of offense. Somebody say, I let it go. Sometimes we're not able to connect. Why, when we come in an atmosphere like this, why is it so hard for me to press in, Cousin Billy? The Lord told me as I was studying today, he said, tell them, the spirit of offense makes it hard for you to press into the presence of God issues and things that people have done to you. <laughs> they done against you, said it about you. I encourage you to search your heart in his presence. You know what's interesting? Miss Rosalind, there could be things that have nothing to do with God. But when we come into his presence, we're holding on to how they hurt us, what they said, come on, what they did do and what they did not do. Come on here. One of the leading reasons, this is a leading reason. I want you to hear this. We're going to come back. One of the leading reasons why people cannot press into the presence of God is because of the spirit of offense. Offense disconnects you from God. Yeah, somebody better hear this. The spirit of offense allows you to go into the presence of God and then be a stranger because of how they hurt you and because of how they offended is the presence of God and the transformative power that comes when we are in his presence. It, it, is that worth sacrificing how they hurt you? Woo! I want you to hear this tonight. Is the way they hurt you so big that you hold on to it versus letting go of it and embracing the presence of God? So the spirit of offense is accompanied. Here it is. A cousin to the spirit of offense is resentment. I was first offended, now I resent it. I resent them. I resent things that remind me of it. And so offense and resentment make it hard for you to press into the presence of God. Somebody shout press, woo, come on here. I come against everything that causes the worshiper to be offended, everything that causes resentment to come into our hearts and try to latch hold of our lives. Here it is, God is releasing a new passion and a new pursuit to the worshiper in this season. <laughs> is that when I wrote this prophet, it's your man, that thing blessed me. God is releasing, here it is, woo, a new passion and a new pursuit. In other words, the evidence of passion is your pursuit. When you are passionate about a thing, you pursue it. May God release a new pursuit and a new passion upon us, Pastor, Tr uh, Pastor Trina. And here's why we're going to have to press into a place of worship. Listen at this prophetic people. As you worship God, curses are broken. Woo! Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. 
as you pursue his presence, as you press into the presence of God, here it is, Marsha, curses literally break off of your life the more you surrender to him. And here's what I learned about 10 years ago. I don't have to know where it came from. Woo! I don't have to know who it came from. I don't have to know when this word curse started operating in my life. Somebody say, worship breaks curses off of my life. I know that a lot of people feel like if you don't know the name of the curse and you don't know where it came from and you don't know the name of the demon. When I was growing up, Prophet Alicia, they said this right here, come up and out. Woo! <laughs> they said, come up and out. And then Pastor Trina, they would just yell out the name Jesus in the atmosphere. Pastor Erica, they would just yell out Jesus. I need all of you on every platform you're on tonight just to call the name of Jesus because I prophesy to you tonight without you knowing the name without you knowing where it started, without you knowing where it came from, without you even knowing where the strong man is rooted from, I simply want you to say, Jesus, I surrender. Yeah. As you surrender to Jesus, his presence comes. I know you're busy. I know you got stuff to do. I know you're planning for the weekend. But do anybody need the presence of Jesus to come in their atmosphere so that it can come up and out? Woo, come on, up and out of you. Come on here. Spirits of rejection. Woo, come on here. Spirits of abandonment. Come on here. Uh, spirits that cause us to be in his presence and still be lost in our identity. We're going to deal with that Sunday. The worshiper that is lost in their identity. For it is in the presence of God, God gives you back your identity. Sometimes we get to the middle and we get lost. Yeah, uh, yeah his presence affirms, affirms our identity, y'all. <laughs> that is the inheritance for some of you. While you were in his presence, he's going to make you and mold you and shape you. Hiya, <laughs> tando sota. Through Jesus Christ, ah, yeah. <laughs> God reversed the curse on mankind that existed since the fall of Adam in the Garden of Eden. Someone say, Jesus reversed the curse. Ah, yeah. As you worship tonight, curses are lifting. Come on. The curse of poverty. Woo. Come on. The curse of struggle. Bande tie. Come on. The curse of being confused. <laughs> Woo. Some of you are a worshiper, but you're confused. You know what I love about worship and his presence? Clarity is released. Watch this. God said, if I can get your attention long enough, I can give you clarity of mind. hi ya. Receive this clarity. So the Father has a plan for us to break us free from our past bondage and then propel us forth into a powerful new life. Somebody say new life. Come on, let's worship. Come on, let's worship. It's time to worship and I'm done. Woo! Hey, come on. Lift it up. Lift it up. Come on. Clean my hands, Lord. Purify my hands. Come on. I want to burn. I dare somebody to put flames of fire. Come on. Jesus reversed the curse. And so when we worship, come on here. We tap into the new covenant. <laughs> come on. Come on. When we, when we worship, we tap into the new covenant, that blood covenant. Ah, yeah, the great exchange. Hallelujah. I want to burn for you. Come on, put flames of fire right through here. Only you. Hey. I want to burn. Hey, I see y'all in the portal. I see y'all in Facebook. Oh, I see in YouTube. I want to burn. I want to burn. I want to burn. I want to burn. Anyone want to burn? Only for you. Yeah. Ah, yeah. So, God, here we are. In your presence, surrounded with your glory. Yeah. Where are my worshipers at? Where are those who love the presence of God? I want to be close. Hey, woo! Purify God, yeah, yeah. Ah, come on, lift this up. Purify me, God. All of me, All of us, God, consume us. Hey, hey, <laughs> we're in the worship room, y'all. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to be close. I want to be close. Yeah. Burn me beautiful. Hey. Burn me lovely. Hey. Woo. Burn me 
right How about you? You're holy, God. Be beautiful. You're beautiful. Burn me lovely. Oh, yeah, yeah. Be righteous. Oh, be holy. yeah, yeah. Burn <laughs> Where my worshipers at? <laughs> Burn me lovely. Oh, yeah. Burn me righteous. Burn me righteous. Be holy. Make me holy, Burn God. Me beautiful. Make me beautiful. Burn me lovely. Make me lovely. Burn me righteous. Oh, how we need you. Yeah. Righteous. Someone say, I surrender. Yeah, this is what he wants tonight. I have all kinds of notes here. But when I got ready to teach tonight, and when I was praying today, the Lord says, tell them that I miss the worshiper in them. He said, they're great with prophesying. They're great with their business endeavors. They're great with teaching. They're great with shepherding people. But I heard the Lord say tonight, to remind you that he misses the part of you that would lay out in his presence. D. Brown, we would lay out in his presence. Let this process we would be prostrate be before him. Come on, we're going back to that place. Let Even if Facebook don't replay this, I've done my assignment. <laughs> if YouTube blocks it, if I can't monetize it, Monday Kai, the worship room is back in action. Come on here. Even if Thursday has to be our night of worship, we going to get it in. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all right. Come on. He's in the room. Woo. And I just speak healing. I speak strength. Hallelujah. I speak clarity. Father, we thank you for your presence tonight. We thank you, God, that you wreck us. Every now and then he wreck us with his presence. <laughs> ah, yeah. If I, yeah. God, take whatever you Woo. Somebody say, take it, God. Take what you desire, God. God, here's my ah. life. God, we thank you. Ah, yeah. I feel something in here, y'all. Y'all have to work with me tonight. I just, I'm just, I'm just letting him do what it is he want to do. Life. One of my friends, I was talking to one of my friends uh, yesterday. And he says, man, I watch you in services and you really rely upon the Holy Spirit. He said, I watch you. And this is what he told me and it encouraged me. Listen at this. He says, you allow the Holy Spirit to navigate you. And you know what I thought with tears in my eyes? All I have is Holy Spirit. <laughs> All I have is Holy Spirit. Come on here. All I have is Holy Spirit. So when I come into the temple and because it's his house, whether I'm sitting here right now, whether it's a Sunday morning, whether we are in the inner circle, watch this, whether I'm trying to make a business decision, whether I'm trying to make a decision with my wife and my children, Holy Spirit is all I have. Can we get to a place where we, that was one of the greatest compliments I've ever received in my life, Prophet Samilia. Is someone saying they love how I depend upon the navigation of the Holy Spirit? Woo! I hope y'all hear that. God, may you be the final authority. I'm not perfect, but I depend upon him. I'm not perfect. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, Prophet Tanisha, you sent me a clip of the worship room years ago and it took me to a place <laughs> and I sat and I watched watch this I watched the worship room when we were on Periscope and I wept and I said God how I missed that place that we were and, and you know it's just the people and the Periscope and the platform and then God said one thing to me he said son I'll give you a greater environment <laughs> watch this prophet is Shioma Sometimes we cry over the former season and the greater season and the next season will cause us to forget, hallelujah, of what it used to be like. Somebody shout greater. So God, we thank you for this time of worship. And God, I thank you, God, that others notice my dependency upon you, Father. For me, it's not about working a room. <laughs> Y'all better hear me. For me, it's not about an algorithm. Although I, I pray that it works in my favor, it's not about all the cameras, the lights, the lower thirds. I'm depending upon, Shante, the presence of God. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody say his presence. 
his presence, Miss Rosalind. Patrice, his presence. <laughs> Woo! Aya, come in the room, God. This is your home. We come tonight to get strengthened by you. Father, we breathe in your presence. Father, we thank you. Ah, yeah. <laughs> greater. <laughs> and the greater will wipe away the sadness. <laughs> and the greater will wash away the pain from the day. <laughs> and his presence, ha ah, yeah, will cause you to forget what you do not have. That's it, his presence. <laughs> and then it is in this moment that we enter into a place of worship. When we are in a place of worship, Pastor Erica, it is in that moment we are reminded that it has nothing to do with us and everything to do with capturing the moment that the presence of God brings. Here it is prophetically. The presence of God brings, act, brings you access to the moment you've been waiting for. I hear elevation in my ear. Your moment is here. Woo! Somebody say, this is my moment. So when you allow the presence of God to come in your kitchen, your office, your bedroom, the bathroom, your workplace, come on. When you allow the presence of God, the presence of God is pregnant with the moment of transformation. It's about his presence. Y'all, I, I could teach this worship because it's what I have. Everything you see is the, is the re result of, and, 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 and the consequence of worship. Woo! I'm not smart enough. <laughs> I don't know enough. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. And I told the prayer line Wednesday, I'm to a place where I understand that I'm so not worthy. Woo! I'm so not worthy of his goodness. I'm not worthy of his grace. I'm not mer mer worthy of his forgiveness. I'm not worthy of how he allows miracle after miracle after miracle. I'm not worthy, but he loves me. Woo! Uh, yeah, but he loves me. Come on, lift up this moment of worship. Come on. God, we thank you tonight. This ain't about Marcus. This is about you, Jesus. Woo! Our moment is here. Come on. Our moment is here. Our, your moment is here. This atmosphere woo, is pregnant with the change you need. Ah, woo, if you could tap into this moment, if you can get undistracted, if you can stop multitasking for a moment, if you can stop scrolling on Instagram, come on, if you can stop being captivated with all these things that, that, that rob you of your moment, you realize that this is your moment. Woo! <laughs> this, I want y'all to feel that. I want everybody to write that no matter where you are in the portal on Facebook, on YouTube. It. Write that. This is my moment. That's the way what you want. Uh, woo. Wow. For my cousin God. said, now this is my blood cousin. She said, now I know why God pulled me to the worship room. Worship. We're done. Worship him. This is our moment. Burn in our hearts. Ah, yeah, yeah. Woo! God, we thank you for your presence. As we intercede, we thank you for your power. For a nation, for a broken country. For God, a we love world, you, Father. For the favor, the only way we have come when we're in your presence. It's when your will is at God, we thank you. We when honor we you tonight. Your vision, where we can see what come you on. have in mind. When we can see your. We goal, thank you. Yeah. What do you want? Yeah. Yeah, he's in here. Yeah, he's in here. Just like you did. Let his garden. presence touch you. <laughs> Woo! Let, Marsha, here it is. Let his presence Not touch you. Will, Come on, lift your hands. Throw your hand, your our head place. back. Lift your hands in the air and say, God, Not all schedule. of you. Not our I'm not too busy for this Not moment. Our Not our what I have to say is not important, more important than your presence. Your presence. Your God. agenda. Not our agenda, Lord. Your agenda. Whatever you want. Ah, yeah. It's our prayer, it's our life. Listen, listen at this. Whatever you want, Come on here. Whatever you Come want. on here. Whatever you ah, yeah. Whatever. And I hear the Lord saying this, Latasha, and when you shall not miss your down. moment. Hallelujah. Woo. Tell me I'm saying I won't miss. Ah, yeah. I won't miss. Ah, yeah. There be a people who I won't miss. Ah, yeah. I won't miss. 
And so kind. I won't miss. And, 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 and let me say this. Something special is hitting the earth midnight tonight. If I had time, I'd teach you, and, and I do try to pay attention to our calendar as well as the Hebraic calendar. But I want you to understand this. Somebody say, by midnight tonight. Woo! There is a new revelation that's going to hit you. Woo! There is new anointing that's going to hit you. There is new power that's going to hit you. There is new understanding. And just when you get a moment, study what happens tonight according to the Hebraic calendar, and it will have a conversation later. I don't have time to teach it right now, but all I can tell you is that at midnight tonight, something's going to hit the earth, and it's going to change everything. How we thank you. Woo! How we thank you. Somebody say great expectation. Great expectation. Raise up a people who live. Come on, you won't miss. That's it. That's it, Patrice. You won't miss. Woo! That's it, Sharita, babe. We won't miss. Come on. Come on. That's it, Prophet George. We won't miss. Come on, Diamond. We won't miss. Ah, yeah. Come on. Come on. New power is going to hit you. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. New understanding is going to hit you. Come on here. New strategies for the business owner is going to hit you. Come on here. Ah, yeah, yeah. Sando God, we thank you. And lay down their lives. We thank you, God. Ah, yeah. You're worth it. You're so and God, take us deeper. Somebody so say deeper. Somebody say deeper. You're worthy of Somebody that say and deeper. More. God, increase our love our for lives. you. Watch this. <laughs> so it's easy to let go, worth, easy to forgive, good. and easy to press into you. Ah, yeah. This next season, while we are oh, in the middle, has everything to do all with us pressing into God Woo! so he can take us deeper in him. Ah, yeah. He won't miss us, Pastor Trina, because we're going to allow Holy Spirit to be what we depend upon. That was a compliment to me. There's someone who has known me for over 15 years, watched me in a service and said, year after year, what I love about you is you learn how you, you depend upon God in atmospheres. Woo! I don't move if he don't say move. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. That's how I get that out there on my own. May our dependency upon him increase in the middle of it. Woo! Ah, yeah. Don't allow being in the middle of a circumstance cause you to question, doubt, or to walk away. Ah, yeah. Faith grows. Faith increases. The children of Israel in the middle of the sea looked around, Prophet Elisha, and saw the sea come up so they could walk through the middle. And then once they crossed over to the dry land, the sea swallowed up their enemies. Can I tell you that when you are lost in the presence, the presence of God swallows up your fears, follows up those who don't care for you so that you can cross over. Can I decree this and hopefully we don't lose it in here? Somebody say this right here. I'm crossing over. Woo! Ah, yeah. I'm done. I'm throwing my notes on the floor so I don't teach no more. Somebody say, I'm crossing over. Woo! I'm crossing over. This is our time to cross over into victory. Woo! To cross over into a new place. Come on here. To cross over into a marriage. Oh, my shot. Come on. To cross over. Come on here. Into seven figures. Come on here. To cross over into a new place of wisdom. Come on. To cross over into a place of ownership. Some of you have been renting and renting and renting. You're crossing over to where you were on the land or the terra firma. This is your season. Woo! This is your time. Time to cross over. Welcome to the great crossover. <laughs> and I hear the Lord saying now, by this time tomorrow, like he told the children of Israel, hey, the Egyptians, eh, the shortcomings, the trials, the bloops and the blunders that you see today, Pastor Erica, you shall see no more. Somebody say by this time tomorrow. Watch this. By 8.46 p.m. Eastern Time, Central Standard Time, uh, Pacific Time. The Egyptians, this is what he told the children of Israel. The Egyptians you see today, you shall see no more. In other words, and I'm done. There are struggles that you have today that because of this worship, you won't see them by this time tomorrow, Leah. Immediate deliverance. Woo! Quick transformation. No more. 
Here it is. I want you to put in the ground a crossover seed. I want you in this moment. I believe, and, and this is by faith. This is by faith. I want those of you who need to cross over into a new place. And I don't know what you need to cross over into. I want you to partner with the seed of $24. I want you all to write that on the screen. $24. And I believe, just like the children of Israel, that what we see today, we shall not see tomorrow. I want you to put that seed in the ground. I'm going to put the ways to sow now on the screen. I'm going to put the ways to sow on the screen. Here they are, the ways to give. I want you, all of you, upon the sound of my voice, to put this seed in the ground. And this is going to be our crossover seed. This is our crossover seed. And I believe as you put this seed in the ground, it positions you for the crossover. Woo! That's a series, the crossover. I want you to go and sow. I want you to go and sow. The media team, they're posting the ways to sow. They're pinning the ways to sow as well on all the platforms. I want you to go and to sow. I'm going to put the ways to sow on the entire screen. I'll be right back with you in 60 seconds. I want you to give. I want you to put your seed in the ground. And I want you, when you entitle this seed, I simply want you to call this your crossover seed. I'll be right back with you in a few moments. Same Yahweh, Yahweh. You're the same yesterday, today. We're crossing over. Hey, woo! Hey. You don't change, you don't change. You don't change, you don't change. Yeah. I touch and agree with every seat. Woo! Uh, yeah. I'm crossing over. I, yeah. Woo, I feel him in the room, y'all. Uh -huh. I know it's offering time, but Pastor Erica, I feel something in here. Uh -huh. Woo, God have mercy. Oh, bye. Let me calm myself here. Woo. You are crossing over. I, yeah. Hey. You cannot stay the same. Yeah, yeah. You don't change. You won't be stuck. Uh -huh. am, am, and you won't have to start over Monday car. All right. I am, I am, I'm cutting up now. Are, uh, woo. Am, I'm cutting up now. Hey, and I'm crossing over. Oh, yeah. I know nobody don't cut up like we do in the worship room, but that's what makes us us. I'm crossing over. Once you put your seed in the ground, just simply say, I crossed over. <laughs> you alone. I crossed over. Come on. Once you put your seat in the ground, just simply come back and say, I crossed over. We're done. We're done. We're done. I'm giving you back 10 minutes tonight. I'm giving you back 10 minutes. We're done. Hey. My praise. Oh, God, you deserve it. Yeah. You alone. You deserve the honor. Hey. So we live. So we live. High. High. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Ah, yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah. You belong. You belong. Come on. Jesus and somebody say, and, and, and it shall be. And we're done. And it shall be. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah. I'm addicted to his presence, y'all. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you know what I'm grateful for in my wife? She understands the hours that I spend in his presence. Can I throw a wisdom key out there for you? As you are praying for a spouse, you ought to pray for a spouse that understands your addiction to the presence of God. <laughs> While you praying that he have a career? While you praying that she looks like a Coca-Cola bottle? Come on here. We want to make sure men and women of God, sons and daughters of Yahweh, that we pray that God blesses us with a spouse that understands our love woo, and our obedience. Come on here. And our dedication to the things of God. And may our spouses compliment our sin assignment. Babe, I appreciate you. Because she knows. Sometimes I go hours at a time in his presence. But I'm going to tell you, when I come out of his presence, I'm a better husband. Woo! Uh, yeah. I'm a better friend. 
I'm a better father. Come on here. There's I'm a better neighbor. Father. His presence makes you better. You How dare we come out, come out of the presence, Pastor Erica, mean as a junkyard bulldog. Somebody say, his presence makes me better. Woo! His presence makes me better. His presence makes me nicer. <laughs> his presence makes me more forgiving. May the presence of God work on us. We can't come out of his presence the same. I was mad before I went in. I was mad when I came out. My prophetic declaration to you is your, your spouse won't be jealous of how you love God. You ever been in a relationship with somebody who was jealous of how you love God? <laughs> it won't be your portion. So add that to y'all list. And for them, some of you that are married, may your love and may the presence you bring in your atmosphere draw your unsaved spouses to Christ. Woo! Somebody who understands your addiction to his presence. <laughs> and they shall understand. I love you. God bless you. And it is so. In Jesus' name. I love you. God bless you. Have an amazing weekend. You all, I meant this Sunday when I said I'm, I'm taking a drastic turn in a, in a direction because I, I see that through the pandemic, uh, we, 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 we put something else on the throne, but we're putting Jesus back on the throne in every way. We're going to have broadcast. And, and you know, I don't even know if they're going to allow the replay to show because I played music the whole time, but I can't change what got us here. We are the worship room. Somebody say that. We are the worship room. I love you. I'll see you Sunday. Please join us Sunday in person, or you can join us online. I would love to see some of you. If you would come to our location in person, all the information is at marcusrivers.org. If you intend to join us in person, it's not a problem at all. Just go to marcusrivers.org or email us so that you can register, right? I love you. God bless you. I will see you Sunday morning as we go into, I think, our second installment of our sit our series midway i love you god bless you and shalom i'll see you somewhere right here on the world wide web god bless you and as you leave this place but never his presence just simply say i crossed over in jesus name